Big Girls Garage, and today I'm gonna show you how to drive a manual on a Honda S2000. Sean right here, best in the business, Big Girls Garage. Let's do it. Now this car is a little bit different in that it has a push to start on an older manual car, which isn't all that common, but you're just gonna to wanna to put your key inside the car and make sure you're in neutral first and foremost. You can tell you're in neutral, let me take that out, when your shift knob is able to move back and forth. So get in on this, show them the, what I'm talking about with the shift knob. You can move it back and forth like that, that means that you're in neutral and you're fine to start the car. Now, when you do want to start the car, you're going to make sure your foot is on the brake and you're going to make sure your foot is on the clutch as well. So these two pedals right here, brake and clutch. Once your foot's on both of those and you're in neutral, you turn the key and you either turn it all the way or you're going to press your push to start. Now, if you're not in neutral and you take your foot off of the clutch, the car will stall. And you don't want that to happen. All right, so I'll just run through the gears for you guys real quick. Right here you can see all the gears. Most stock shift knobs have one of these on them. It's after aftermarket, you're probably not gonna have them. But as you can see, first is left and up. Second is left and down. Third is in the middle and up. Fourth is middle and down. Fifth is right and up. Sixth is right and down. And then reverse, sometimes you're gonna have some sort of lockout, some sort of system to stop it from accidentally going into reverse. Here, you just push it down, right, and over. So as you can see, it's different from just right and over. All right, so one of the hardest things when driving a manual for most people is to just get it into first to begin with, because that's when you're most likely to stall your car. So as I said, make sure it's in neutral, put on the clutch, put on the brake, start the car. Now, if you look at the shift knob right here, you'll see my foot's on the clutch, put it in, go into first gear. Now. As I said, if you just let your foot off the clutch, you're just gonna stall. So what you're gonna wanna do is let your foot off the clutch very slowly, and simultaneously as you're doing that, you're gonna wanna put your foot on the gas. So, it looks and sounds something like this. You're slowly gonna start moving. Now it's different for every single car, where you're gonna wanna put the clutch in, how far you're gonna wanna have it in, where it's gonna be before it stalls. So when I say take your foot, off the clutch and on the gas simultaneously, I mean that your foot is gonna be all the way in on the clutch. And as you take it off the clutch, you're slowly gonna to wanna to put it on the gas, kinda of like this. And then eventually your foot's all the way off. And when you're shifting, you're gonna to wanna to put foot off the gas, into the clutch, shift, back on the gas. So any gear other than first is really simple. You're just gonna to wanna to put your foot back into the clutch let your foot off the gas, off the accelerator, and then just shift into the other gear. So if I'm in first right now, and I'm driving and I wanna go into second, all I'll do is let my foot off the gas, put my foot into the clutch, shift it into second, put my foot back on the gas while I'm letting go of the clutch. All right, so here I'll just try and run through the gears a little bit. There's second. couple options for what you're going to want to do when you brake. You can either go into neutral and just use your brake or you can use your engine braking. So you can go, I was in fourth as you saw, I can go back into third, then back into second, then back into first as I'm slowing down. You're going to want to keep your revs in a certain range so that your car doesn't get too low in the revs or too high in the revs just because you don't want to lug your engine, you don't want to um, rev too high, it's all bad for your engine. So you're going to want to keep it in a certain range.